the Lord. Yes, I'm recording now. God bless you for joining. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited that you made it again today. I know that your strength is being renewed for some people. A lot of Christmas shopping is going on, but you still make time to join this evening. God bless you. And I know that this one would also it will work out to be an extra layer on all the ones you've been doing in previous times. Let me remind you that you can uh, you can enjoy these sessions, relieve these sessions by going to our wonderful YouTube channel and get yourself um you, you can enjoy the sessions again i mean that's all i'm trying to say basically you can i i get to do that because after i've done the leading and the prayers i have to go pray for my children that means i have to go get grab the recording and enjoy it as well just as you have god bless you for joining Join it's, it's, ex it's exactly seven with, uh, with us at the UK and where, from wherever you are, I want to say welcome on board. Remind uh, those that need reminding that it's already time and we're just going to start straight away. Why don't we just go straight into it? You know the drill now. We just enter his gates with thanksgiving and we tread his course with praise. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. We bless and exalt your name. Thank you for, for being so good, for, 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 for keeping your word. You are in the midst of us according to your word. You said wherever you are in the midst of us, shall gather in your for name. Stay, there you are in the midst of us. You know you are here. Are to you are here. To the joy of your presence is already with us. Therefore, the lads, I join even with this one we are going to have thank an that you have in our midst. Thank you because there is no Establishing your will, establishing your counsel concerning the next generation. Let somebody lift up their voices in praise and in adoration to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. We bless your name, O oh God. We give you don't all the glory. Thank you, because you are good. Thank you, because you said you feel me always till the end of the age. Therefore, you have my prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Lord, we thank you for our children. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your leading. Oh, is there anybody who has something to thank the Lord for this evening? That we say, thank you, Father. Thank you for leading these children. The Bible says that you preserve our going out and our coming in. Oh, thank you because you have preserved the going out of my children and their coming in. Thank you for you have preserved the going out of, of my nieces and nephews and their coming in. Lord, in the midst of all that's going on in the earth, Lord, you have preserved our children. We want to say thank you. Yet uh, thanks will never end, oh God, because your mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Oh, Oh, I wonder if anyone is hearing me, but I need you to, to be to continue to bring your sacrifice of praise. I praise and worship your holy name because of the Father. Thank you because of his excellent result in the name of Jesus. I exalt your name. Thank you, Lord, because you surround surrounded with good friends and mentors in the name of Jesus. Thank you because it shall always be well. Thank you because you are in the name of Jesus. And Jesus shall be far away from her. Thank you, Lord. 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 Is anyone in any part of the world where the where the pandemic has visited? I want you to begin to thank the Lord for His protection over the health of your children. How them going out and coming in places where children are still in school, they're still in, in, in the university communities, they're going out and they're coming in, and God has preserved their lives. I want you to thank you conscious. Thank you, Jesus. And say, Lord, I want to thank you specifically for your wall of protection. Thank you for taking her. I want you to thank the Lord this evening. I say, Lord, I will not forget to give you praise. In Tarabo Shedenia, I will personally not forget, even everybody else forgets. I will not forget because you have kept healing in the body of my children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe one of your children or both of them, they, they, they may have had difficult times with their health in time past and today they are standing. Why don't you lift up your sacrifice of praise to God, the only one that is the healer, the only one at whose name sickness is bound. Thank him for restoring that child. Or maybe you are so, you, 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 you have the privilege of looking after a child with special needs and the Lord has been giving you breakthrough strategies on how to look after the child. Why don't you thank him tonight and say, Father, right in the midst of my situation, you have given me the wisdom to look after your own precious property that you have kept in my care. Go ahead and begin to turn that child loose onto the Lord. Do exactly what Hannah did 
he returned Samuel to Shiloh. Oh, do the same consciously and say, Lord, I know I've done this many times. Today again, I return this child to you. I return my first, I return my second, I return my third, fourth, fifth, and fifth, and I return all of the children that are in my care, all of the children that I'm standing in for. I return them to Shiloh today, the place of God's presence. I return them to the throne of God in Taradoso Totenia and forever they remain with you. I return them in Taradaso Totoria Dahunda A Dania Koso de Keso Dania Haduna Arabasode Ula Baba. I bring all my children as a sacrifice unto you and I say they are yours forever for the kids, Lord. Oropa Sotania Le do Sotonia where you go they will go where you lie they will lie lord they will follow you forever you remain their god forever in the name of the lord jesus brothers and sisters the bible says in, Re in revelations chapter 12 that in that she, this this woman that revelations talked about she 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 um she, she brought forth a child in verse 5, a man child who was to rule the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. If you read another translation, it says that the child was snatched. <laughs> Why? Because there was another dragon that was waiting for the arrival of that child. The dragon was determined that as soon as that child arrives, it was going to snatch it and begin to cause havoc in the life of that child. But God is smart than the devil. Let me tell you today that even though God and the devil are, are opposite, they are not equals by any standard. And so being on the side of God puts you on the winning side. Today we declare that our children are, are, have been snatched by the hand of God and been attached to the throne of God in the name of Jesus. And there they are connected forever. We're already praying into the spiritual life of that child, the spiritual journey of that child and we say in the name of Jesus we join the hosts of heaven we join the ministry of the Lord Jesus and we snatch our children and we attach them to the throne of God in the name of Jesus why do we have to do that because there's another there's another dragon out there who seeks to snatch our children but we stand against it in the name of the Lord Jesus whatever the name of that dragon whatever the ability of that dragon it is nothing compared to the power of the holy spirit that raised jesus from the dead and so it we move in the power of the holy spirit and we declare that our children are separated unto god in the name of the lord jesus christ we stand against the wiles of the of the of that dragon we stand against the wiles of the devil and we declare that in the lives of our children, Jesus reigns. Hallelujah. Pray for every child and declare that Jesus rules in your life. In the name of Jesus, I separate you unto God. Call it child by name and say, I separate you unto God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Paul said in Galatians chapter 4, he said that God separated him from his mother's womb and revealed Jesus to him. Lord our God who separated our children from our womb, who separated these children that we stand for from, our, from their mother's womb. You are the one that is able to reveal Jesus to them. Lord, we ask for the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ into the heart of every child, into my sons and into my daughters. We ask for the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ, the revelation that brings light, that shatters every darkness by that revelation we declare in the name of Jesus every confusion dies completely in some of our children by the time they start turning 15 16 17 they begin to question the existence of God today you will pray for a revelation of the spirit of God to hit their heart in such a way that they'll never be able to deny it they'll never be able to shake it off in fact Jesus said 
said this this way. Nobody can come to me except the Father draws him. Oh, we begin to pray concerning the drawing of your child by the Father in the Brado Sota, and the Spirit of God will pull on your child's heart and reveal Jesus to him. So that they will be able to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Ah, and Jesus said that anyone that comes to me, he will I will in no wise cast him away. We clear the path for our children so that they are going, they are able to easily make that intelligent decision of making Jesus the Lord of your life. Or meet yourselves and let us pray into the salvation, the revelation of God in the hearts of our children. Pray that God will reveal yourself to my children. Reveal yourself to them in the name of Jesus. The life of God that is saying to me. In the name that of Jesus. Why? Well, there is no God. The that philosophers that they meet out there that is telling them that they are we call for the revelation knowledge of God to shatter those darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus. I start to do I start to do it. For every negative difference in the name of God. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, why don't you frustrate frustrate the mission of the of the of the, of the ideologies of, of the of the enemy that wants to keep that child from giving their hearts to Jesus? Begin to frustrate all those ideologies. That is why Paul says that we cast down imaginations, high and lofty thinking, contrary ideologies, ideologies that turn their hearts away from the Lordship of Jesus. We cast it down, we frustrate it, we set it aside, and we declare that our children are free to obey the Lord Jesus and to answer the call of salvation in the name of Jesus, wherever they are right now on the face of the earth. Oh, the spirit of the Lord God that knows where everybody is. We, we activate the ministry of the Holy Spirit to pull our children to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We cast down all the, the reasonings and the arguments and the lofty ideas that are contrary to the knowledge of God, contrary to to the knowledge, all that is contrary to the knowledge of God. Oh, we cast it down. The Bible says in, in him was light, and the, in him was life, and the life was the the light was the light, life was the light of men, hallelujah, and this light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it, we bring the light of the gospel to shine into the hearts of our children, and to destroy every kind of darkness, and every kind of argument, stacked up against the knowledge of God, we say it is diffused today, reduced to zero, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Masekeria Doshida Dada, we bring to captivity. We bring into captivity all of the thoughts, oh, bombarding and harassing the minds of our children. Some of our children they are actually going through these things and they are quiet about it. Then these thoughts go through their mind. They're thinking, "Are you sure there is God? If there is God, why is this? If there is God, why is that? Oh, why are things like this? All those thoughts are playing on their minds." But the Bible says you can bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So today, go ahead, bring into captivity every thought contrary to the knowledge of God. Bring it into captivity, into the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus, talk about, we call each child by name and say, in the name of Jesus, every thought that is contrary to the knowledge of God, I 
in, that harassing your mind, frustrating your, your thinking process. I bring it into captivity now in the name of Jesus. I render it useless in its mission. I render it powerless in its mission against you. I declare that the revelation knowledge of God, oh, it shatters every, every high sounding thought and, and, and imagination in Jesus' name. Educationalia. I don't know how many children the Lord has given you, ah, but pray for each one of them, one after the other. Call them by name and say, in Jesus' name, I cast down reasonings, reasonings that are speaking against the knowledge of God. I cast down those reasonings from your mind. I release you to serve the Lord Jesus Christ with the revelation of the Holy Spirit. In fact, some of them think that they are actually serving God by the things that they believe. Just like Paul, he thought he was serving serving God by the things he believed. He thought he was doing God a favor until he had a revelation, until he had an encounter. Lord, we begin to pray for special, spectacular encounters for each one of our children so that as they receive those encounters, they will not be able to walk away from the, from, from the, uh, from, they will not be able to walk away with, from that revelation of who you are in the name of Jesus. Masanto Oh, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Meet yourself and pray. Into their spiritual journey that we come against every lifestyle choice that has turned our children away from the way of the Lord. I want you to begin to pull down the strongholds of negative anti-Christ lifestyle decisions. Negative anti-Christ anti lifestyle, lifestyles that do not allow our children to serve the Lord. Choi lifestyle choices where it comes to drug addictions, where it comes to sexual perversions, where it comes to wrong sexuality, lifestyle choices that pull our children away. Pornography, gambling, things that pull them away from serving the Lord or from yielding themselves to the Lord. Rato soto tori bagas kode roko koko koko shidalaba in korie de si poko toto raba baba toto riba shada oh materie de suda we break every stronghold of 
drug addiction e parodo soto totoria nania kosada e prodo sodikaka e parado si poco shada hi kalabosuda roko kokolia de sedon krida all of the negative lifestyle choices working against our children we stand against it today and we make war against it and we remove it in the name of Jesus we render it useless we shatter the lifestyle choices neborodo sotania contrary to the knowledge of god in krada dunia do brage sikala bago sataria nania roko soto toto in your own in your own family you know the lifestyle choices that that could be causing problems for your child's relationship with the lord why don't you take time and break those choices alabo soto nia haduga the bible says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and word of their testimony raise the blood of jesus there is the power of the blood against that lifestyle choice and say today i nullify you today i command you to seize in your assignment against my child in the name of the lord jesus the love of money shortcuts in life oh it has it has led some children to turn away from the lord because they know that if they have to be with the lord they won't be able to manage both lifestyles because jesus already said clearly that you can't serve two masters you can't serve god and mammon the spirit of worldliness that just wants to enjoy carnality and fleshly living oh we come against it in its harassment assignment against our children and we declare that the spirit of god draws our children unto the lord jesus hallelujah as we begin to prepare ourselves to go into spirobics spirobics is 30 minutes every day 7 30 to 8 p.m ah laboso tariana huda i want you to think about two areas that you want to pray about in the spirobics uh in the spirobics session spirobics is just going to be 30 minutes of praying in the spirit and i'm going to be leading it as well i'm not going to break up the meeting i'm just going to lead us and and i just want you to follow the prayer instructions hallelujah so that we can enjoy the aftermath of spirobics we said spirobics is spiritual aerobics it's about praying in the spirit according to jude 20 to build spiritual fitness and stamina and then with that spiritual fitness we're able to push against stubborn resistance this is our day five and at exactly 7 30 i want you to start speaking in the spirit if you don't speak in other tongues you don't have to you don't have to log off just stay with us and say to the lord jesus lord jesus you are the one that is called the baptizer in the holy ghost baptize me today so i can join the rest of the family and i can enjoy this journey praying in the spirit the bible says in first corinthians chapter 14 it edifies you in verse 4 it says it builds you up like a battery it's like your spirit man is being plugged into a wall and power goes through it and it is charged to full potential there are so many things that you could be enjoying in christ but you can't because you don't know of it or you are not exercising yourself enough it's just like expecting a two-year-old to lift up a table that would be very very difficult probably break that child's uh, neck or leg but but when that child is of age or has grown it has eaten a little bit exercised a little bit that child is able to lift up the table and so spirobics gives you the opportunity to to stretch your spirit to its full potentials because it is loaded with potentials so thank god for the spiritual journey of our children we thank god because the spirit of god is at work in their lives he's leading them the bible says that the steps of the good man they are ordered by the lord and we want to believe that the spirit of god is leading them into the right spiritual community you know how i feel about spiritual communities that divide the family that cause our children to begin to behave like zombies thinking through another person's mind and we are against that and we declare that that is not the portion of our children in the name of Jesus for every child represented here that has been deceived into, into a, a, a unwholesome spiritual community. We insist on their freedom today in the 
name of Jesus, we cut them loose. She cut them loose in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare their freedom by the blood, not by the doing of any man. Bible says it's not by might nor power, but by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Why don't you start praying in the spirit as we go straight into spirobics? And today we are praying about what do you say? What do you say? Garadoshe de media da soto toriada. Start speaking in the spirit, speaking tongues, speaking tongues. Makato toria. Unmute yourself now. I'm just going to give us another 60 seconds speaking tongues. Garado se keniando. Unmute yourself. no, don't stop praying in tongues. Keep praying in tongues. You have to do praying in the spirit for 30 minutes. Lord, declare that he do started a minute ago. So keep praying in the spirit. Keep praying in the spirit. As you do that, you give your spirit more energy. You build your spiritual stamina. But in your, in your mind, you are tossing this question in your mind. What do you say? Choose life. Choose life. God gave us that advice in Deuteronomy 13, 19. He said, I present to you today before heaven and earth. Oh, choose life. Choose life. That is God's instruction. Choose life. Matoto diakasoda. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witness against you that I set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may leave. Don't, don't be tempted to start speaking English. Go continue to speak in tongues. You say, why do I have to speak in tongues all the way to 8 o'clock? Because when you speak in an unknown tongue, about, according to 1 Corinthians 14, he says your spirit is speaking the, the you, you are speaking in the spirit, mysteries unto God. Verse 2 of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 says he speaks not unto man, but unto God, how be it in the spirit you are speaking in the spirit, and it is by that speaking in the spirit, Jude 20 says that build your most holy faith. You build yourself up, build yourself up. And spirobics is about building up our spiritual muscles. You said to me, I've not been in any of these sessions before. Just stay with us. Hallelujah. You are in the right place. What do you say? <laughs> Death and life lie in the power of the tongue. What do you say? God said, choose life, death and life, lie in the power of your tongue, your ability to die and your ability to stay alive are in the power of your tongue, they're in the ability of your tongue, your tongue holds the key to death and life, and those who love it will eat its fruit, whatever that fruit is, today you choose, you know those two areas that you you have chosen for your own 
for, for spirobics that you're saying you are speaking into, oh, it's time to start speaking life into those areas. Don't bother changing into English, keep in the spirit, protosi, gariana, huda, remembering that as you speak in tongues, you are speaking the syllables of the Holy Ghost. You are speaking with the alphabets of the Holy Ghost. You are speaking the language of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 that they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Those utterances are not yours. It is the voice is yours. The vocal cords is yours. But the, the, the words that are coming out, they belong to the Holy Ghost. Why don't you let those words, let them invade that play, that situation that you are praying about. Mato, Korea, Dasuda. Unmute yourself. Let's pray. Makatura, Dagasha, Tuba. identify those two areas and speak life don't change into your natural language now just keep speaking in tongues just identify those two areas in your mind and say this is for you speak into it speak into it because as you are speaking you are speaking the coded language of God into the situation and then for those of us who have been speaking in tongues and we're just sounding the same for years this is the way you build you build your next level of language in the spirit you begin to increase your syllables in the spirit by allowing the Holy Spirit to flow more through you but if you keep doing it five ten minutes here and there you miss yeah, out but if, you, if you do it over a stretch, over a, a, a stretch period of time you find out that you begin to increase your syllables rato sedehiga and dobrina hado continue continue i'm going to say on mute in a minute i just want to explain a few things that the spirit of god he he desires to to come on the scene on earth but he needs a body he needs a voice he needs vocal cords and they and they, those vocal cords that are that are, are, are that are um that are qualified for him to go through is yours hallelujah and so as you release yourself uh, and i hope nobody's changing the their prayer language right now stay in the spirit as as the spirit of god gains access into the earth through your voice he's like he's communicating the will of heaven through your voice you are that vessel the bible says these treasures are hidden in earthen vessels you are the, the, the there's a there's a fountain on the inside of you that is seeking expression open your mouth and let the spirit of god come all the way into the earth oh paradise so daniel through you he said to me how's he going to do it he's going to do it through your words through your voice through that, that through you lending him your tongue hallelujah pray in the spirit or mute yourself and pray over those situations and say this is the word of the lord to you Lord, 
Ibrada Donia wants you to know that life overpowers death. Life is stronger than death any day. That is why death could not hold Jesus in the earth because the spirit of life showed up in the belly of the earth and brought Jesus out of the out of the the, the, the the belly of the earth. That it is the spirit of life, the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit of the living God. He raised Jesus up from death because he's the spirit of life. And that spirit of life is flowing out from inside of you. Please don't stop praying. That is a whole essence of spirit. Mix. We are exercising, amen, is spiritual exercise. Don't even stop to think, just keep I'll just keep speaking in tongues. Masketi karode geshida roto sadimia in Romans chapter eight verse two. In, in Romans chapter eight verse two, the Bible says uh, that 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 the law of the spirit of life. <laughs> there is a law of the spirit of life. It exempts you from the law of sin and death. Whatever those two areas are that you want to change, I want you to begin to allow the spirit of life to to give you the exemption. And the way you do it is by speaking, speak it, speak it, speak it. Rato said de Kenya, unmute yourself and speak the law of life into that dead situation. The Bible says some women dead back to life. So speak the law of life into the dead place of the situation. Command this to my life. the <laughs> Besides the law of the spirit of life, Lazarus came out from his grave. When Jesus exercised the law of the spirit of life, the son of the widow of Nain got up from that uh, uh, coffin. But when Jesus exercised the law of spirit of life, Jairus' daughter came back to life. When Peter exercised the law of the spirit of life, Dorcas came back to life. I want you to begin to declare that by the law of the spirit of life, I overpower the death that is being revealed in this situation. I don't know what your situation is. Everybody has their own. You have to, that you are concentrating on during the spirobic session. Now, spirobics is going to end at 8 o'clock, so just bear that in mind. Roto said, and then we go back to praying for our children. Rada Sototo, don't stop praying in the spirit. Keep praying in the spirit. Keep praying in the spirit. Unmute yourself. Let's do this. Ladoski dala rokos today. 
Speak your way to victory. Speak your way out of trouble. Speak your way out of situations. Speak, speak, speak. Jesus said in Matthew, in Mark chapter 11, verse 23 and 24, he says, if you shall say, ha ha, ha in Baranodo, he didn't say just cry at the mountain, cry at the foot of the mountain, cry at the problem. He said, you must say, you can cry, but make sure you are saying, speaking is a prerogative of spirit beings like you and me. Speaking is a prerogative. God rules by speaking and he has made people in his likeness and image. And so you cannot run away from speaking. It's just that you have to speak the right things. Jesus said that you will speak to the mountain. You will say to the mountain, thou will be removed and be cast into the sea. So what are you saying? Are you telling the mountain to move or you are telling God, see the mountain? That doesn't change anything. It's a, it's a, nice, uh, it's a nice emotional 
prayer, but it does not change your situation. You are moving to another level of praying. So you are not going to pray like you prayed last year or the way you, you, you prayed 10 years ago. You want to move to another level. You know what God has said about this mountain. And so Jesus said, say to it exactly what you want it to do. Do you want it to stay right there or you want it to move? If you want it to move, Jesus said, say to the mountain, be thou removed, be cast into the sea. But one thing you must not do, you mustn't doubt in your heart. Ha <laughs> ha. So please don't stop praying in tongues. Masca Daniando. I'm just giving you instructions on how to deal with that stubborn situation that's staring at you in the face. It's so stubborn. It has been there for years. Today, you begin to say to it what Jesus said. Be gone. <laughs> be removed. Be cast into the sea. Oh, say it in the language of the Holy Ghost. Be gone. Be cast into the sea. But, but you, you shall not doubt in your heart. But you believe what you say. Oh, can you can you can you beat your chest and say what I just said? I believe it. Oh, why don't you say it long enough until you begin to believe it? Yes, the reason why you believe the other thing is because you have said it long enough. You believe long enough that you can't find a job. That's why you have not found a job. You have said it so long that you now believe it without even realizing that you believe it. You said to me, but I prayed about it yesterday. What about today? Speak, speak. Okay, or meet yourself and begin to speak into that stubborn, stubborn situation. speak life into those situations speak life don't stop praying in the spirit i'm just giving you more information more instruction the bible says in first corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 12 it says we have received the spirit that is not 
not of the world. The Holy Ghost by which you are speaking right now is not of the world. The world does not understand him. You are the one that understands him. You are the one that's made room for him in your heart. That's what the scripture is saying, that we have received the spirit that is not of the world, but the spirit which is of God that we may know. <laughs> so that you come to the place of knowing. And remember, Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. So you can imagine he's saying that the spirit of God is with you so that you will know the truth that makes you free. And so in verse 13, it says, these things we also speak. The Bible says that these things we speak them, those things that you, that the Holy Spirit is bringing to your knowing, they must be spoken. Now concerning 2021, you want to begin to speak. You want to begin to speak the things that God begins to reveal on your inside. Speak it by the Spirit of God. Speak it by the help of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> he says that we speak them in not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, which the Holy Ghost teaches. It is the Holy Ghost that teaches the language of the Spirit. Oh, you yourself now, omit yourself and pray into 2021. There are 12 months to Speak life into the first six months of 2021. Speak life into January, February, March, April, and June. Concentrate on those six months and say, Gari kata tu jakaya labo sodo. Omit yourself speaking to the first six months. Orato si blada. Roko paliga. Rendebe keso. into the second half of the year july july august september october november december i'm speaking to the second half of 2021 it's right on your inside the wisdom of god the the, the deposits of god is on your inside but the bible says these things need to be spoken <laughs> oh begin to speak them in the language which the holy ghost teaches not in the language that man teaches because the language that man teaches can be interfered with it can be it can be corrupt but you when you yield to the holy spirit he speaks his heart he speaks the coded language of god into your 2021 go ahead and do that unmute yourself let's pray Ratose Kladi, Rokoshi Dada, 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 Rokosh
as we begin continue to pray in the spirit please don't stop don't stop the regimen is still on you are on spirobics we are exercising our spirit for better performance we're exercising our spirit for for stronger fitness spiritual stamina and fitness so that we can consistently push down and pull pull out all forms of stubborn resistance and like i always say every resistance knows its place it knows that it must obey persistence and so to be and so when you are praying in the spirit and you're pushing against resistance you need to do it with rejoicing because you know that the resistance must obey you you might say yes yeah, didn't obey me on so so day on the on the calendar it, there's no calendar in heaven for the day your resistance will obey it has been told to obey and the and the, the length of time it takes to obey depends on you. That is why you don't stop. Bible says, be not weary in well-doing, but continue because you will reap if you do not faint. And so as we as we begin to bring the, the spirobic side of things to a close, I want you to begin to thank the Lord for the ability to speak the language of the spirit, the language of heaven. Continue, begin to thank the Lord and say, Lord, thank you for giving me the language of heaven for those of us that are still, that are still wondering how can i get to speak the language of heaven if you didn't join us like i instructed just put your give us some information about you and we can help you but speaking the language of of the spirit is not is is not uh optional it is actually highly it's optional or it's highly beneficial for you it will be doing yourself a great disservice to do without such a tool I, why don't you speak in tongues for another 30 seconds and let's round up our spirobics our spiritual aerobics so that we can continue to pray for our children. Or mute yourself. Let's pray for 30 seconds. Masadia Koti Oh, yes, let's, let's just thank the Lord this evening. Now you can go back to speaking in English and all the other languages you speak. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Marcelia Karuna. And thank you, Father, for helping us to hold out for 30 minutes. Go de the San Doriana in the language of the spirit. In Tarado Sodoni, somebody says, but what is the what is the significance of that? Why, why is that so important? Because the Bible says when you pray in an unknown tongue, your spirit prays. 
Hallelujah. Your spirit prays, your understanding is unfruitful, but in the spirit, your spirit is speaking mysteries. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7, it says that we speak mysteries, we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. That means that when you are when 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 you, you want to speak the wisdom of God, you, you speak it in a coded language, and you, you can trust that the Holy Ghost has the wisdom of God. And as you speak it, as you cooperate with the Holy Spirit, you'll be speaking the wisdom of God into your own life, into the lives of people, into the lives of your children. And that is why in this in this meeting, we're always moving from praying in English to praying in other tongues because we know that we need the help of the Holy Spirit to say some of these things that we would like to say, to communicate it in the way that the Father will receive it and in the way that our, uh, our circumstances will obey it. And so we thank God for this opportunity to pray in the spirit for 30 minutes come back again tomorrow at 7 30 and we will do the same 7 30 to 8 o'clock but we continue right now praying for our children thank the lord for our children thank the lord that he has given us the privilege to pray for our children you don't have to log off you can stay with us we are praying for our children right here and we continue to do that till the end of the meeting we have some testimonies lined up for you we have some uh, and a um, few announcements so while you catch your breath let the announcer give us some information thank you very much and over to you thank you very much pastor agatha and just to thank you everyone for joining today uh we're back to reset my seat now i just want to remind everyone just some housekeeping rules please uh, remember to unmute your phone only if you're in a quiet place and when you are unmuted kindly keep your volume lower than the speaker's volume and please remember to turn off your videos also we have communion at the end so uh, remember to um, just get your communion emblems ready for the end of the meeting thank you and we would like to i'd like to go straight into talking about encounter encounter is our a monthly meeting first on the of every month so we have it tomorrow 6th of december from 9 30 to 11 30 p.m uk time that's 10 30 to uh, 12 30 a.m nigeria time it's the same zoom link and then this is a meeting that is for you as an individual where you get to pray for yourself your life your your ministry your career your profession your business your finances your health everything to do with just you and so we look forward to you joining us it's a mini vigil so and it's it's bound to be an exciting time if you would like to join our mailing list now is a good time for you to post your email address into the chat you can do it uh, post it publicly or to the co-host privately as you prefer if you have received a, an email from us then we already have your email and there is uh, no need for you to uh, post your email in the chat thank you and then with that, I, uh, I'd like to, uh, we've talked to us, uh, Spirobics is it's very exciting. You've all just participated in that. It is every day between the 1st of December up until the 21st of December, and it's for 30 minutes, 7.30 to 8 p.m. UK time, and we're praying in the spirit, building spiritual fitness and stamina, and pushing against stubborn resistance in our lives. So uh, we look forward to you joining us tomorrow at 7.30. And uh, we'd like to, I'd like to speak briefly about prayer school session seven. The last in our current series is taking place on the 10th of December. This is going to be an exciting time. It is a question and answer session only on, uh, on prayer. We'll be taking questions on, on, your, on, on all the different topics that we covered in sessions one to six. Don't miss don't miss the uh still don't miss this and if you want to catch up on any of the sessions you can go on to our youtube channel to watch those it's bound bounce it's bound to be a great session please uh join and register by um just following the link that is on your screen now and it is a free session thank you and then we have right now taking place at this moment our telephone prayer line pray with me somebody it's for it takes place on weekends saturday and sunday 2 p.m to 12 midnight uk time the telephone number is on your screen please take a moment to either take a photo or a screenshot if you need somebody to agree with you in prayer um it, it, this is a good time to do that and um it's on right now and it will be on till midnight today and the same time tomorrow so please uh, uh take advantage of that thank you and then, uh, as always, we'd like to remind you to go on to our YouTube channel. It's called Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. And all our recordings are on there. And please uh, kindly uh, subscribe, like, and share. We appreciate that. Thank you. And with that, now I will just uh, 
go on to our testimonies. So we just, um, as we would like you to just please send us your testimonies. Um, if you have testimonies about your children, about the children that you have been standing in the gap for, it could be your nieces, nephews, your godchildren. And if you have testimonies, please um, email us on the email address on your screen. We will be reading them out in uh, different prayer meetings to give glory to God, to inspire the faith of others and to encourage the brethren. And with that, I will go on to just read uh, three testimonies uh, for today that I believe will bless all of us. So the first one that I'm going to read out is to do with academic excellence. Dear Pastor Agatha, thank you so much for providing the platform for parents to team up in prayer for their children and grandchildren. Prayer points raised have been timely and on point. During the first lockdown, you had us mark our children's A-level papers and take authority over every decision that will be made concerning their A-level results. I followed your prayer instructions and I prayed for my niece. Unbeknownst to me, she did not sit one of her mock exams due to illness. The rescheduled exam couldn't take place because of the lockdown. Um, Answered prayer led to her having an A, B, A, B, and B, and being accepted into Northampton University for psychology. To God be all the glory for the wonders he has done. Under normal circumstances, my niece would have lost a year. Thank you, Pastor Agatha, for allowing us to consistently pray for the next generation at such a time as this. May the oil on your life never run dry. Amen. Amen. And then our second testimony is uh, deliverance from COVID-19. My niece tested positive for COVID-19 after having malaria-like symptoms, loss of smell and taste. I got to know two days later when her mom called me at 1 a.m. to chat with me. She started crying when she mentioned it as my niece was in the U.S. I called my niece immediately and prayed for her in the manner we always treat treated illnesses in the prayer meetings. I recall saying, COVID-19, you are forbidden in this body. Get out. You cannot thrive here. I also recall she chuckled every time I addressed the foul spirit of infirmity. I called her the next day and she said, Auntie, your prayers worked and I feel so much better. She apparently told her uncle and brother, Auntie's prayers worked. We waited for five days to pass and she got better every day and she has since repeated her test and results came back negative. God is faithful and he has been laying this niece in my heart for the for months and I've been praying particularly for her and when I joined prayer boot camp hers as uh, hers has always been the first name I mentioned after my daughters thank you God our healer Amen. and the last one is uh, I'll, I'll be reading out today is restored spiritual relationship we have been praying for our children's faith walk with the Lord and God has answered well well my son, traveled to, my son struggled to believe in God. In the sixth form, he said he really didn't believe, and I told him God would reveal himself to him. Then he went to university. Friends, smoking cigarettes, and weed. I kept praying. Then lockdown came, and everyone came home. What the enemy meant for evil was the real story here. God had, started or had already started to intervene, and he brought my son home for me to see what he was doing. Now my son studies the Bible, discusses the Bible, leads Bible study in youth meetings and prays about things instead of worrying. To God be all the glory. I am not resting, oh, I continue to travail in, until Christ is formed in him and he reaches that measure of the fullness of the stature of God that, that God has planned for him. All glory be to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hallelujah. Can somebody praise the Lord with me for those testimonies? Because they represent your prayers. They represent your love. They represent the fact that you rep that you stood on behalf of these children before the Father. And you took, you took authority over the negative uh, harassment over their lives. I want you to thank the Lord. Let's lift up our voices or mute yourself. Let's just erupt in praise in this place. Oh, thank hallelujah. You. Thank you. Oh, 
Thank you, Lord. You have done great things in our midst, and we are glad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't you begin to declare that our children are they are delivered from all of the destruction of sickness and disease? Because no matter what you pray for your child to become the greatest, you know, the greatest engineer, the greatest sportsman, but if they're not well, <laughs> the Bible says there are that a great and effect your door has been opened to us for. Corinthians 16 and 9, it, but there are many adversaries. Sickness is an adversary and it is not from God. Somebody says, yeah, but God allowed it. It is not from God. So he didn't allow it. It is just that it is on the earth. There is more, God is not the only spirit that is operating on the earth. There is somebody called the devil. There's somebody called the thief that Jesus told us in John chapter 10 that is around, that even though some things are happening, does not mean that it is God doing it. Sickness is on of the devil. Otherwise, God would not have sent Jesus to the cross to bleed and die so that sickness can be paid for. And therefore, Acts 10 38 says, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power so that he went about doing good, healing all that are oppressed of the devil. He would not have been healing if it was God's will by any percentage. And so every kind of sickness that shows up in your household is, 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 is from the devil. Yes, you might say, it does not mean that the devil is in my house. No, it means that the devil uh, is attempting to find a, 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 a landing pad in your house and it is your choice to evict him or to allow him to thrive. But I know that your choice is not to allow him to thrive. So today we stand against any kind of sickness, whether major or minor, whether, whether diagnosed or not, we stand against it in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something, the fact that a sickness is diagnosed does not mean that it is diagnosed and, and, it's been, and the doctors have said it's incurable does not mean that it is incurable. That is what their textbook tells them. Even they are looking for answers. So you got the answer. The answer is the power of the Holy Ghost, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Oh, he's the one that is able to bulldoze every sickness and ailment away from your body and the bodies of your children. Take a stand today, unmute yourself, and let us begin to take a stand against sickness and disease that it will not find this thriving in his landing pad on the bodies of our children. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's not for sickness and disease. We stand against the frequency of function in the body in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, the Ariana in Isaiah 53 verse 1 the Bible says who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed oh some of us have been have been believing too much of the report of CNN and too much of the report of the of the YouTube but 
but the Bible says it is the person that believes the report of the Lord. It is to him that the arm of the Lord is revealed. Today, we, 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 we exercise our faith in the report of the Lord. And what is the report of the Lord? Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Sickness is a curse of the law. If you read Deuteronomy 28, it gives you an idea of sicknesses. Some of them, the Bible says, even the ones that are not named in the book is part of this sick cause. And so we come against any kind of curse of sickness expressing itself in the bodies of our children. A body has been given for you. The bodies of our children were given to them for purpose to bring the to bring glory to God, to, to, bring, to bring about the glory of God in the land of the living. It's not supposed to help sickness to exercise it, to publicize itself. And so in the name of Jesus, we destroy every trace of sickness, every, every expression of malfunction of any kind that seeks, that seeks to express itself in the bodies of our children. We release our children from the claims of sickness in the name of Jesus. Ratosete, Korea, Nania, particularly in this day and age where COVID-19 seeks to ravage the bodies of men and women. Oh, we command every claim of COVID-19 against any of the bodies of our children. We command such a claim to be destroyed and declared null and void in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Rato Celia Hadonia, speak into the body of that child. Speak to their mental health. Rota Sadiahu Takaya Nuhiga. And even if the situation is from birth, speak to it because God is not the author of sickness and disease. Even if it is a sickness that has been expressed from birth, God still did not utter it. By coming into the earth, your child became vulnerable to the God of this world. And so the God of this world has planted wrong things into that child's body. But you have the God that is bigger than the small God of this world. You have the God and Father of our Lord Jesus. And by the authority of the name of Jesus, evict the, 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 all, the, all the machinations of the God of this world. Hallelujah. Unmute yourself. Pray for that child and call, command a relief, a relief, a relief to flow into their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Into the mental health of all of our children. Into the mental health. Oh, pray into their mental health. And I speak life into into the mental health of all our children. We command it to be stabilized. Be stabilized in the name of Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 13, verse 15, whatever my father has not planted. 
must be uprooted. Ah, uh, Lato Sudania, we, 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 we synergize with the Holy Ghost and we uproot. Hey, every ailment, every planting of sickness and disease of any kind, whether major or minor, known or unknown to us, we uproot it in the name of Jesus from the bodies and the mental health of our children. In Jesus' name, Masato Krodehiga, I begin to pray that all of their body, every part of their body is serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12 says, present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God. We present our children's bodies as a living sacrifice to God, to his glory, so that every part of their bodies, uh, we yield them as members to, the, to, to righteousness in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's begin to pray into their mental assets and say that in the name of Jesus, oh, their intellect is intact. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the, the God of peace preserve your whole spirit, soul, and body. And in their soul, they have the compartment of their mind, their will, and their emotions, their intellect. They have different compartments in that soul. And so today we want to begin to speak into their intellectual ability that in the by, by that by the spirit of god the life of god invades the intellect of our children yes because god has deposited in them the the, the solutions of the earth but their intellect needs to be matured and 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 activated to 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 be able to download those solutions into the earth begin to pray that each child represented here will begin to walk in high level of intelligence oh rabba satori anahuda job 32 verse 8 says that there is a vital force in man, the spirit of intelligence and the inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. We declare that by the Spirit of God, understanding is injected into the intelligence of our children. They're able to receive, retain, and reproduce knowledge upon demand. In the name of Jesus, we stretch their intelligence to be able to handle high volumes of knowledge. In the name of Jesus, high volumes of knowledge that then translates to wisdom with which they are able to bless the land of the living or meet yourself and begin to pray into the into the grades of that child, into their, into their education, into all that they're doing for, the, for those that are working, that are working, that their intellect is stretched to the point of I want to remind you of that testimony the lady said I obeyed your prayer instructions when you said you over the decisions concerning the markings of the scripts of our children I want you to begin to take authority over the dealings of the educational institution around your child because sometimes in depending on where you are at the decisions that the ministry of education is taking begins to affect the outcome of your child's uh, 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 of, of your child's uh, uh, um, intellectual life so begin to pray that the spirit of god will order the steps of your of your child and order and rearrange the 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 educational institution in in the country and the in the city where your child is learning and even for your grown-up children that they, that they will be they'll be surrounded with favorable things that are uh, situations that are favorable for the advancement of their intellectual capacity why don't you pray in the spirit rato sodia kashiga la bodeya rokokoko sipete guriada la brode se totoria na kanto gude ala bosodia begin to speak high grades high performance grades to surround your children with the right teachers the right coaches the right mentors the right trainers 
Daniel, the right managers for those that are working, that they are surrounded with the five kind of people that help the intellectual development. Rotus, Kodemesh, Kikalava, Rokokokoko, we need high grades for our children. the Lord will grant them favor with their teachers, favor with their trainers, favor with those that have been assigned to teach and to, to educate them in the name of Jesus. Rato Sete Binahado begin to choose, especially from nursery age, choose the right kind of teachers around your children. Reto so that they will help that child to, to, to identify their strong points. They will help that child to harness their strengths from the inside. That the intellectual property of our children will be preserved to the glory of God. Why don't you pray for your child's attitude to work? Begin to pray that our children, they'll be yielded to the Holy Spirit in the place of learning, that they will not come up with pride and lack of a teachable spirit, but that they will be yielded to the Spirit of God as they continue to learn. Then they will have attitude of diligence. A diligent attitude will always bear rule. It will always win. Somebody unmute yourself. We're praying together.
favor over their lives, over their lives, that the spirit of favor begin, is revealed in their, in their academic life, in their intellectual life, that the spirit of favor will be revealed. Erebo so Hadania, that the spirit of favor will be revealed as announcers, uh, as destiny announcers, Maskote, Kenya, Nahuda, people who God will use to announce your children. Begin to pray that by the spirit of God, their destinies will be announced. Rato so dehi gagalo dunia, just as John the Baptist announced the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Karadoso dunia, there will be people who by the hand of God, he will plant to announce the destiny of your child. Roto se denia, to recommend them and to push them and say, this is where they belong. This is this is where you belong. Roto se teteria do so dania nahugara nania. Pray for every child, call them by name and say, today in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the, the spirit-led announcers will, will arise in your favor and begin to announce your destiny, begin to announce you favorably in the name of Jesus. For every single child, there is an announcer because God has attached destiny helper to every child. And so we begin to activate the destiny helpers of our children. Every single child. Someone says, yeah, but some, some children that are not so well, how, what, what else is left of their destiny? Why don't you ask that, that? Why don't you depend on the spirit of God to unfold their destiny to the glory of God? Oh, come on, unmute yourself. Let's pray into the destinies of our children. <laughs> not only will they announce our children, they will influence and catalyze their, 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 their rising. In the name of Jesus, they will act as accelerators, destiny accelerators planted by the Spirit of God for each child. We activate you today in the name of Jesus. We activate destiny accelerators. Somebody says, yeah, but if God has given them destiny accelerators, that means that they will do their job. No, that's, that doesn't mean they will do their job. It means that they are there if you will say something today we say destiny accelerators attached to my first second third fourth fifth cousins nephews nieces godchildren sons and daughters all of the destiny accelerators attached to them i activate you in the name of jesus i authorize you to go into action and accelerate the, the manifestations of god the manifestations of the glory of god in their destiny as it unfolds in the name of jesus rato so dahiada destiny announcers destiny influencers destiny catalysts accelerators 
collaborators, those that will say, yes, I'm standing in with you. Yes, I'm, make, I'm gonna make sure that you get to where you ought to get to. In the name of Jesus, we pray for such helpers of destiny. Bible says our help comes from the Lord. We lift up our eyes unto our God because our help comes from him and we call for collaborators, Aaron and her, that will serve the destiny of our children in Darado, Sudania, Hadonia. Remember that your child is also somebody's Aaron and her, that by the spirit of God, they will carry out their own tasks as Aaron and her, but their own Aaron's and her will carry out their tasks without inhibition in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rato, Soto, Toria, Damania, many Aaron's and hers, their friends, their collaborators, their colleagues, Rado Soto, their allegiances. Why don't you begin to pray into the friendships and allegiances of your children? Atatoria da Husantariana. Oh, Baro de Seto. Someone says, but this child is only a few months old. Please make prayer available for that child so that that child does not have to suffer. In Carado Soda. Ah, the days are evil. The Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, it's because your strength is small. Ah, but you are, your strength is not small as a mother that understands the place of prayer. As a father that understands the place of prayer, your, your child's strength ought not be small. You can put stuff in the reservoir for them so that as they arise, they begin to walk in the power that you have made available for them. Why don't you pray? Pray for their friendships. Pray for their allegiances. Begin to plant godly relationships around your children. Just godly friendships. People who will be speaking in the language that the, in the language of the destination of your child, people who would who would continue to, to who who would who would be in their lives collaborating with with their destiny to see to it that it comes to pass in the name of Jesus. And this is the point to go round, put a searchlight of the word of God over the the friendships and allegiances of your children and begin to press delete for everyone that does not sound like God, that does not sound like where they are going. Anyone that tries to derail them, we delete completely from their destiny. In the name of Jesus, unmute so yourself. Let's pray into the relationships and the allegiances of our children. you may or may not know the relationships that don't all go well in the lives of your children you may not know the ones that they are in that is not really good for them but whether you know it or not the holy ghost and your prayers are depending on the holy spirit and today begin to depend on the holy spirit to delete and i mean delete relationships that are not going in the direction of your child's destiny we delete it today in the name of jesus we lay the acts of the word of god at the root of anything that is not planted of god every friendship that is not planted by god because we know what bad friendship can do first corinthians 5 1533 he says evil communication evil company corrupts good manners all the things that you have planted into that child's life oh it can it, it only takes a few moments and evil company can corrupt it but you take a stand in the name of jesus and say i drive out every relationship that is not established by the spirit of god i drive it out from this child's life and i plant godly healthy relationships in the name of jesus some of these relationships have led 
their children down the wrong hole. Rato Sotoniana, some of them have left led their children into wrong sexual behaviors. I want you to begin to uproot such a relationship that in the name of Jesus, ah, la tose de nia canuna, we decree the release of our own children. In parado soda, some of this relationship have given have have given us children negative peer pressure, have caused them to be so worldly. All they want to think about is what is out there in the world. Oh, but the Bible says what is in the world is the pride of life, is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. There's nothing else out there in the world other than destruction. And so whatever, whichever relationship that they are in, whether it is a friend, just a platonic friendship relationship or whatever, whatever kind of relationship they're in, they're in that is drawing them away from the path of destiny that God has assigned to them. Today, take a, take a stand and say, by the blood, I sever my seed from such. Wrong relationships. Unhealthy allegiances. Oh, we disallow unhealthy allegiances in the name of Jesus. It is it's all these friends, especially for our children that are, you know, like a, a, a bit older teens. They, they, uh, uh, when they start coming to teenage life, that's where peer pressure becomes a big thing, where they begin to feel, oh, I'm going to look, I'm going to look like, a, I'm going to look weird if I don't do what they do. The Bible says, if you're, if, if, if they, if they, uh, if, if the sinners shall, shall entice you, consent not. That's what the Bible says. And so begin to pray that your child will have that presence of mind to say no to the enticement of the sinners. That's not to say that your child is a perfect angel from heaven. What it means is that your child is able to stand and say, no, this is not what I stand for. I stand for what the word of God says. I stand for what my parents have taught me according to the word of God. Yes, it, sound, it, it may be that you, you guys look like you're enjoying yourself, but I choose to stay with, with the way I've been raised. I choose to stay in the straight and the narrow. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for that child who's just gone to uni. Uni is, oh God, man, Toriga, Shadania, oh, the place of liberty. And they're saying, oh, finally, I'm free. I can make a decision on how I live my life. Did you hear that testimony that that parent said, my child, when they get, went to uni, they began to get into all sorts of friendships and all sorts of these and that. begin to pray that, uh, but that, that, that uh, parent's uh, prayers, pull that child back to the straight and the narrow. You can begin to pull your child back to the straight and the narrow by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. We send out our fishing line now to bring back all of our children that have gone down the, 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 down the road of negative peer pressure. We send out our fishing line by faith and we pull back our children from, from, the, from, from the road of drug addiction, from the road of, of anti-Christ uh, uh, lifestyles, from the road of, of gambling, from the road of negative peer pressure, we, we send out our, our fishing line and we bring back our children into the fold in the name of the Lord Jesus. Unmute yourself and pray with me and bring back your children. Bring back the children of all our brothers and sisters. Bring back the children. Ramaya, 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 Rama
Macedonia, I want to speak against challenges, challenges that are that that against generational patterns or that that challenge our children. You know, the contrary generational patterns. For example, some of our children are dealing with pattern generational patterns of a lack of drive. They just can't be bothered, and they got that from their father or, or from their mother. I want you to begin to pray and say every generational pattern that is contrary to the plan of God for my my children, I rebuke it today in the name of Jesus. I want you to unmute yourself and begin to pray against the lack of drive, spirit of laziness, slothfulness, a non-finisher spirit. They start something today, they drop it, and they start another one, they drop it. Those are negative uh, generational patterns that, 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 may be, that may be harassing that child, trying to find a land in the life of that child. Some of our this one is for those of, the, of our children that are working some of them just cannot hold down a job in parado sudo that is a negative generational pattern sometimes that holds down that harasses a child and they begin to think oh maybe i'm like my granddad maybe they are not like any granddad or their dad they they need they need to be delivered and you are the one that delivers them with your mouth so you speaking to them and say no in jesus name i set you free from every hold of a negative pattern in your life in the name of Jesus, I crush the patterns and I command you to be free. Reto so dahiadoni. Some of our children, they're just plain dishonest. They just they, you just wonder why are they dishonest? Who taught them this? Oh, begin to say in the name of Jesus, I uproot the spirit of the liar. Roto so daniahada. The Bible says God Jesus said that the devil is a liar and the father of it. And, they, and so that seed of the liar we uproot it because it was not planted by God. He carado so donia kasudaniana. Oh, Oh, for some of our children, is is poverty. They're like, oh yeah. I, I mean, I, what's the point? My dad is in that rich. My mom really, she's she's just she's just basically she's just basically scrounging. Oh, can I begin to overcome the power of poverty by the spirit of God's provision, the spirit of prosperity that overcomes poverty. That it, poverty will not find its root in the life of in the name of Jesus. Bible says that the, that that Gentiles will come from far and kings will come to the brightness of their rising. Oh, Dahi Korea Nahiga, we speak Isaiah 60 over our children in the name of Jesus. They arise and they shine. Oh, their gates are open 
Some of these patterns, like just being irresponsible, play just nothing want to take responsibility for anything. That is a negative pattern. Oh, we break his hold over our children in the name of Jesus. Our children will not serve their juniors. They will not be forever, forever at the bottom rank of the ladder. No. Oh, we declare progress. We declare advancement for every child in the name of Jesus. Oroto soto to tiala boso de ora baga sotania a sotoni hata puria da sodenia kauruba shadina. Some of our children they just defy and they just operate in some kind of defiance. And you're wondering what is the matter with this child? Just doesn't want to obey constituted authority, especially in the family. Oh, begin to declare in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will teach your children how to obey authority. Masando. And because they have some of them are not used to obeying authority, they go to work and they get fired. And so they can't keep a job. And then the stack of dominoes keeps, keeps falling all the way to the end. Why don't you pray for that child and release them from those negative patterns? Some of our children, especially the girls, they're just into vanity. Everything must be about them. Everything must be about what they what is happening in the world. Oh, begin to pray that their taste will begin to change. Their taste buds will begin to change so that as the deer pants for water, their souls will long after Christ. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray for our children's relationships leading to marriage. O Talia The Bible says marriage is honorable in all the bed undefiled. That is the plan of God. That is the program of God. I know that the spirit of the age according to uh, uh, first Corinth, first Tim, book of 1 Timothy and even 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, 2 Timothy chapter 3, the, the Bible says that men will be lovers of themselves. <laughs> In the Rabo Sodenia, they'll be so selfish, they'll, they'll just, they'll be unthankful, they'll be ungrateful, they'll be disobedient, they'll be lovers of thing, pleasures more than lovers of God. Those are indications of the end time. And, and so we, we need to stand against the spirit of the end time, the spirit of the antichrist. The Bible says that in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7, that the spirit of lawlessness is already at light. But we that are restraining it, yes, you and I, we are restraining it until Jesus returns. It would not play out its full-blown activities, especially where our children are concerned. And so we stand against every 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 uh, expression of the spirit of the age in the lives of our children. The spirit of the age is all about idolatry. They just want to idolize themselves. Everything is about me, 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 the unholy trinity. So let's pray into their relationships that they begin to find, oh, they begin to find one another, oh, in, in heterosexual relationships relationships according to the scriptures that they begin to find healthy heterosexual relationships that lead to marriage. Let's pray for our older children tonight. We just have a few minutes to do this. Unmute yourself. Let's pray that our boys will find our girls, our girls. <laughs> Take 
but I know straight away that some of our children are in heterosexual relationships, but they are unhealthy. They are toxic. There are relationships where there's a lot of bullying, there's a lot of cheating, there's a lot of destruction of, of, of emotions. I want you to pray and release those children from such entanglement, from such bondage. Their lives have been held hostage because they have a boyfriend. Their lives have been held hostage because they have a girlfriend. What kind of a relationship with that? We come against it in the name of Jesus and we release the blood of Jesus into those relationships and we sterilize them. We remove every toxin in, the, in those relationships in the name of Jesus. Some of our children can't even say what that they are going through in those relationships uh, as we're praying for some of them, for some for them to get into healthy heterosexual relations. Already some are in, in unhealthy ones. And so I want you to remember as you are praying that, that, that we release the ones that have been held hostage, the ones that are held bound against their will. Some of them want to break up, but they can't because they are bound. Ah, to Borodo Sotariada. They are in what I called cult relationships. They are in relationships where they, they are, they, their lives are tied down. Oh, then I don't care how far gone. I release you children. I release you sons and daughters from unhealthy heterosexual relationship that 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 is pulling you down and destroying your 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 your, your destiny draining you and bringing you to, to nothing, reducing you to nothing. Roto soto toria da sida. Unmute yourself. Let's pray for our young adults. Rado soto ria da sida. begin to pray for spirit led relationships spirit led relationships leading to marriage that our children as they as they as they continue to journey with the holy spirit their hearts will be led to the one that the lord has prepared for them that they will be able to identify that person as soon as adam woke up he knew that this one belonged to him he knew that this is bone of my bone his is flesh of my flesh begin to pray that by the spirit of god our children will be led to health the heterosexual relationships according to the scriptures. Radoso Dahiada, they will be in relationships with their friends. Oh, the ones with which they will do life forever. In the name of Jesus, Masotariana Huda, the one with which they will enjoy peace of mind, the one with which they would they will they would be a great team in the body of Christ, standing against the works of darkness together in the name of Jesus, Masotariana Huda. I remember my wedding vows and he says uh, to stand with you in the faith of the Lord Jesus against sickness, against death, against poverty, against against uh, the second death. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, that is the kind of friendship you want your child to have, that they'll be able to stand together in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ against what the enemy is doing out there in the world. Oh, Rabbi Sotoniana, pray for that son, uh, that his eyes will be shining. Oh, his eyes will open and he will see, he will see like Adam saw, pray for that daughter, that, that her heart will be, will, be, will be equipped with the right ability, with the right antennas to receive and know who that person is. We come against every form of delay and denial, arrayed against our children. In the name of Jesus, we say no, 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 no. Rado soto Ah, amuse yourself. Let's pray that our children will come into health. Thank you. 
healthy relationships spouses that will honor god's idea of the fact not spouses that will isolate that will isolate our children and say oh no it's just about us no spouses that will honor the family spouses that will honor god the spouses that would will, 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 will appreciate and, and bring the family together rather than divide spouses that are working for god the bible says god hates discord amongst brethren god hates seven things one of them is discord amongst brethren one who will come and divide the family god cannot stand that kind of uh, that kind of a behavior and so we say that our children as they begin to couple together they begin to couple with people who believe in unity who believe in in love who believe in togetherness with whom they can do life in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah why don't you begin to thank the lord as we bring our prayers to a close tonight hallelujah in karodo sodemia katubra dahika yaya oh Thank the Lord tonight. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Hallelujah. Let's unmute ourselves and thank the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you,